Hi, I'm Eric Bloomer. I'm the owner of EJ Flooring. Uh, we're getting ready to tile a shower, which is what we do. Uh, as you can see, we've got a nice vinyl window inside of our shower. And normally, a vinyl window has a little bit of a recess where there's a lip. And this one is actually going to be flush where the tile is going to sit and the metal is going to sit on the window itself. And so we're going to have uh, to make sure that we're waterproofed up to the window good. That way any water that comes off of the shower head and hits the window doesn't wick into the stud cavity and down and create problems in the future. And so to do that, we're going to use some purdy fix. Sorry, I thought that was uh, pushed in. Uh, we're going to use some purdy fix. You can see that we've taped the window off to protect it. This stuff sticks to everything. Uh, what you may not be able to see very well is our metal is actually going to be coming kind of right in here on top. And so for today, we're just going to fill in this perimeter uh, all the way around the window. And then uh, we'll let this dry today to pull the tape. And then we'll come back later and we'll actually do a piece of purdy band that sits on the window and gets mortared. So this is extra insurance dissolved just to make sure that we're as solid as we can get it. Uh, that way when we put the curdy band on it, we're even more so uh, guaranteed to be waterproof. And so that's what we're going to do here. So I'm too short to actually reach the whole window, so Brent is going to end up doing the silicone Or the curdy fixing, I guess it's not silicone. We're doing this today so it can cure, so that way we can do a fill coat of thin set mortar uh, over the window again and kind of feather it out because the window does stick into the uh, room just a little bit. And so we'll, we'll want to have a little bit of time to feather this out and then have something nice and solid that we can band to. Don't use your fingers for striking curdy fix unless you have baby wipes. Baby wipes actually do a really good job of pulling it off your fingers. But if you just use a little tool and all we're using is a simple scrap of curdy board and that's just to help keep it down just a little bit. Also, Curdy Fix is pretty daggone expensive. A simple way to help extend the life of your Curdy Fix is to take some plastic, put it over the cap like that, and then screw the tip down. And that helps keep it, the air from getting to it, and it'll last a lot longer than if you just uh, try to put a nail in the tip. So yesterday we curdy fixed around the window. Today we're going to band it. So we're going to start by spreading our uh, thin set mortar around the window. And then we're going to use more curdy fix again. We'll kind of show you here what the plan is. We've got all of our banding strips cut. a good idea to use the flat side of your trowel to burn in the mortar which you can see Brent is doing there we're gonna go around the whole window and spread the mortar and then once that's done we'll get our curdy fix and we'll do that probably one side at a time
burning in the mortar helps get good transfer from the mortar to the substrate. You'll increase your bond by a whole bunch, about 30 to 40%, just by taking the two extra seconds to do that. This window is gonna get a lot of water. I mean, that's not a very big shower, so we wanna make sure that no water gets behind the window into the wall cavity. So we're gonna do our best to make this as bulletproof as possible. And so now we'll get the curdy fix. And we're gonna go right down that channel Just a nice, full, continuous bead. Again, the window is taped off beyond where we're gonna be covering with tile for that reason. It's easy to have a slip. You need to go back to your left a little, I think. Maybe not. Yeah. And so the window is slightly proud of the wall. And so putting the curdy band right there is gonna help uh, with the build out a little bit to get our wall closer to flush with the window. And then from there, we'll be able to uh, get our tile set nice where we want it and it'll flush right out. So now we'll get our banding strip. We have two for each, you know, one for each side. We're just going to apply a little bit more thin set mortar at the overlaps. It's probably hard to tell from the video, but we are going to maintain our two inch overlaps. Curdy band does not have to be shingle lapped. It is a waterproof connection. So it matters not which way the overlap is, it matters that you have an overlap. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos. Also, be sure to check out the next suggested video that's going to pop up as well. Thank you very much for watching.